Thanks for joining us for Eyewitness News at 11. I'm Thomas Payer. New York State's wastewater surveillance system recently received national acclaim. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recognizing the work done at Wadsworth Lab in Albany as a center of excellence. Our Capitol correspondent Jamie DeLine has more. At the Wadsworth Lab in Albany, wastewater samples from around the state are being tested for diseases. It's a powerful tool. It's actually been in use around the world for decades for other purposes. Here in America, it came into high use during COVID to monitor COVID. In the years since the pandemic, wastewater surveillance at Wadsworth has expanded to test for other diseases such as polio and influenza. According to Dr. Kirsten St. George, this surveillance can detect symptomatic and asymptomatic diseases circulating in communities before an outbreak starts. It can give a, a one week and sometimes even up to two week advance warning of an uptick in hospitalization for COVID, for example, which is very helpful for uh, hospitals being able to prepare for a surge in uh, inpatient um, traffic. So how does it work? The team at Wadsworth showed us how they test for influenza A by concentrating wastewater. From there, genetic material is extracted and molecular tests are done. Dr. St. George says this also helps to detect the disease level, which is important. Especially once we've gone in with mitigation actions from our epidemiology team. Are they working? Are they bringing the level down? Are we reducing the amount of this agent that is still spreading in the community or have we eliminated it? So these measures are very important and the digital PCR chemistry is extremely accurate at doing that. There are now six centers of excellence throughout the United States. New York State's wastewater surveillance program is now one of them. It comes with responsibilities. You know, we are assigned a jurisdictional area for the northeast of the United States. And we are responsible for sharing our expertise and methods and uh, knowledge and training skills with those other areas around the northeast of the state. Reporting in Albany, I'm Jamie DeLine.